let's practice computing support and confidence. Well, this is our formal context. Uh, let's say that A, B, C, D, E, and F are some items in a supermarket and rows, objects correspond to transactions. So we have 50 people who bought A and F, we have 40 people who bought A, B, and C, 30 people who bought A, B, and D, and so on. Um, let's compute the support of the set B, E. Well, how many objects have both attributes, B and E? Well, none of them, so the support is zero. Um, now let's look at the implication B, E implies A, D. What is its confidence? Well, because the support of the premise equals zero, by definition of confidence, the confidence of this implication is one. And it's always like that. When the premise has support zero, the confidence of the implication is one. So this is a valid implication because its confidence is one. But it's completely uninteresting. What it tells us is that we don't have people who buy at the same time BE and AD. But there are no people who buy at the same time B and E in the first place. So it doesn't really make much sense to talk about what, what these non-existent people buy in addition to B and E. But it's not always that an, that an association rule with uh, uh, zero support is uninteresting. So I consider the following example. Let's look at the support of the set BD. Well, um, we have only one row that has both attributes B and D, and we see that there are 30 people who bought B and D, so we have 30 objects with B and D. So the support is 30. Now let's look at the implication BD implies EF. Well, to compute the confidence of this implication, of this association rule, to be more precise, let's use the definition. So, in the numerator, we're going to have the confidence, the support of the union of BD and EF. So, the support of BD, EF. And in the denumerator, we have the support of the premise of BD. So the support of BDF is uh, how many objects have uh, all the four attributes? Well, zero. So it's zero divided by the support of BD, which is 30. So the confidence is zero. So uh, this implication has both zero confidence and zero support because the support of this implication is the premise and the conclusion combined. Um, but this is, but still this association rules tells us something interesting. It tells us that people who buy B and D never buy E and F, at least together. And, uh, well, this may be useful to know. Let's consider another implication another association rule. And let me skip the curly brackets from now on. So I'm going to, con to compute the confidence of BD implies A. So in the numerator, we're going to have the number of objects that have attributes A, B, and D together. And there are 30 such objects. And in the denumerator, we have the support of BD, which is also 30. So in this case, the confidence is one. So this is an association rule with non-zero support and confidence equal to one. 
So it's a valid implication, but it's interesting because its support is non-zero, unlike this one. Um, okay, uh, are the association rules with uh, support and confidence different from zero and one? Yes. Uh, let's look at these two attributes, E and F. So, the support of uh, the association rule E implies F equals um, the support of the set EF, and uh, so it's, it's 50. What about the support of the association rule F implies E? Oh, it's 50 again. Because again, we have to consider the support of the set EF. But these two implications have different confidences. So the confidence of E implies F is uh, the support of EF, which is 50, divided by the support of E, of the premise of this rule. And the support of E is 50 plus 100. We have 150 people who bought E. So the confidence is one third. So one third of those who bought E also bought F. And indeed, you can verify that this in the context. Uh, we have uh, 150 people who bought E, but only 50 of them bought F. What about the confidence of F implies E? Here in the numerator, we have again the same 50, the support of F implies E. And in the denumerator, we have the number of people who bought F, and this is 50 plus 50, so 100. So here this, the confidence is one half. So um, if, if we are to believe support and confidence, that then these two implications have the same support, but the second one has a higher confidence and therefore it's more interesting for us. It's more reliable. 